Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Jorge? It's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday, the body knows. <laughs> and we know it. Yes. We know. <laughs> we know it, yes. So how are you today, uh, Jorge? I am fine. I feel well. Happy because My it's Friday? Yeah. Ready for tomorrow? <laughs> Are you working tomorrow? Yes, I work in tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm going to take the day off tomorrow. Yeah. I will have the day off tomorrow. Hi, Emerson. You free. You free day, man. Tomorrow. Yeah, only in the morning. Only in the morning. Only on the morning yes in the morning i will have a free you work in the morning i work all day long but uh, tomorrow i'm just going to be working in the afternoon and oh. in the morning in the morning i will have uh, the morning off okay yeah but i usually work uh, uh, seven days a week all days yes seven days a week yes teaching english is a uh, Believe me, is is a uh, is a uh, well, it's good thing to do because uh, there are a lot of uh, companies that hire English teacher. Uh, the only problem is that they give you uh, it's only uh, you get uh, paid by hour of work. Oh, so you in the Christmas give more gifts? <laughs> yes, there we go. Christmas time, yes. I, I can I can uh, give a gift to people. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's all Christmas time is around the corner. It's almost here. Yeah, yeah. The Black Friday too. Yeah. There we go. And uh, uh, what have you had the time to work on the platform? Yeah, and platform. Platform on the platform. Have you had the time to work on the platform? Yes, I do my tax. No, platform, the platform. This one right here. En la plataforma de, de, yes. de uh -huh. la clase. Uh -huh. Sí, he trabajado. Has trabajado, yes. Sí, yes. tengo eh, hasta como por la tarea ocho, eh, siete he hecho. Oh my goodness, siete. <laughs> Jorge, yes. Oh my goodness. So you're ahead of the game, huh? <laughs> That's a Kick me out. I was going to report that. Me sacó la plataforma. Okay, yes, I see that you have uh, done the first week and you started the second week on the platform. ¿Tuviste algún problema en la plataforma? No, todo estaba bien. No te escucho. You hear me? I, I can hear you now, yes. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the seven, the seven tags, uh, um, I confuse because I try to, stu to study the, the class. Okay. What was the confusing part? What part was confused? Uh, let me see. I, I tell you. Um, <clears throat> it's slow, my, my internet. Oh, so, it is. It is very slow. 
Yeah, don't worry. It's yeah. not only your internet is, uh, I think it's in general. The thing is, everybody's uh, uh, internet. Yeah, uh, and the seven tags, uh, the two, mm -hmm. uh, answer two and um, four, just one. I, I don't know why, but I try to understand. Uh, but I, start, I try to study more. Okay, and what is the question? We should meet on Saturdays. We should meet on Saturday, okay? Uh, it's just like an advice. We should. Should is like an advice. And y se usa como por una probabilidad. Deberíamos de, de vernos el sábado o reunirnos el sábado. Uh -huh. How much is the cost of this? It's accountable. Yes, accountable how much? How much? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because of this, but is wrong. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Se la dio equivocada. Yeah. Make it make wrong. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, E S course. And uh, you say section section three or section two? Section section two, uh huh. Yes, section, section two. two. Okay. Uh, about section two um we're not done okay let's see section two socializing and uh you need the socialization okay and is uh it's number six, number seven, or oh. number seven. Number seven. Okay. Number seven and uh, question number three. Two. Number two. Um, four. Two. Okay. With so, this. So we have uh, who she meets on Saturday. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, we are using, it says, so we read the information, type a proper question. Don't forget to use the auxiliaries. Auxiliaries. Uh -huh. Auxiliaries, yeah. yes. We're trying to use the auxiliary verb. Entonces, who, Tenia, who is she meeting on Saturday? Uh-huh. Did you try who is she meeting on Saturday? Who does she meet on Saturday? Who does she meet on Saturday? Uh-huh. Así lo probaste y salió malo. Yeah. In the four, I put uh how much is this? How much is this? Uh, how much does this cost? Uh huh. Uh, how the much is this how cost? Much of this. Does how this much is cost? This cost of this? Uh, how much does this cost? Eso. See? 
Esa es la correcta. How much the this cost? Esa es la okay. correcta. Ok. Entonces el das es el que tiene que ponerle. Ok. Y en el otro, who does she meet on Saturday? Ya. Yeah. Yes. Ok. Muy bien. Ok. Uh, today we are going to. Um, in, hello, Esmeralda. How are you? My goodness. Look at you. You look wonderful. Where are Thank you going? Thank you, teacher. Usted Jesus siempre me alegra, el día, me alegra la noche. My <laughs> goodness. Look at you. It's Friday, huh? Are you going out tonight? No. Nothing oh. tonight. Okay. I'm very. Very, very tired. Very tired. All you want to do yeah. is, uh, is relax, huh? And mm. yes, relax <laughs> and and okay, very good. Have you have you eaten yet? Have you have uh, your the your dinner yet? Ya yeah, comiste? What yeah. did you What did you have? Um. Ah. Eh, Um, por la tarde, un ice cream. Ice cream, y right. Que, ah, ya con eso quedé feliz. Oh, my goodness, look at you. Oh, yo, soy, <laughs> yo soy un devorador. Yo tengo que comerme dos tortillas. Dos, two, two tortillas, yes. Sí, un ice cream no me llena mucho. Yes. Mucha Pero, masa tengo después de, la, después de la clase veremos. Oh. <laughs> o en el recesto. <laughs> ya de <debe. laughs> Okay. Qué gusto, teacher. All right, all right. Nice to see you too. And uh, today we are going to be talking about the passive and active voice. Um, ¿Alguno de ustedes tiene alguna idea que es un active y un passive voice o cómo se escribe o cuál es la estructura para para eh, trabajar con active and passive voice? ¿O alguna vez lo han oído? So we have active and passive voice. What is this active and passive voice? What do you think it is, uh, uh, Jorge? ¿Qué piensas que es el active and passive voice cuando hablamos nosotros? Uh, active passive voice is, is the normal form I talk, maybe. Okay. Normal formal talk, okay. And uh, you do, Esmeralda, what do you think of active and passive voice is about? De que crees que se trata el passive and active voice? Dice, mm. si me no están preguntando así muchas cosas, me voy a desconectar, dígame. Sí, ya voy a quitar la cámara. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. No, no tengo idea. Ok, no. so por ejemplo, eh, eh, si yo tengo I am, I am, I am out o I do, I do my homework. I do my homework. Yeah. Esto sería un active voice. Sí, I do my homework. Ese sería un active voice. Si, si queremos ser un passive, sería my homework. My homework is done. Yes. Esto sería, esto sería un uh, passive voice. Permita, permita, me voy a. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, esos gatos. <laughs> All right, entonces el passive voice, active in passive voice, es la forma como nosotros expresamos cuando hablamos en inglés. En, en este, si se fijan, on, on the active voice, 
Tengo, I do my homework. Entonces, la estructura del, del active voice sería el subject, subject plus uh, verb plus, plus complement. Yeah. Esa sería la estructura del active voice. Sí. Pero en el passive voice, sí. En el passive voice, es el, eh, no es de esa forma, no, no tenemos esa estructura, ¿sí? Entonces, al object, le vamos, a este complement, este, en este caso, no le vamos a llamar complement, le vamos a llamar object, ¿sí? Le vamos a llamar object. ¿Ah? ¿Alguien me preguntó algo? No. Ok, le vamos a llamar object. Entonces, en este caso, el subject es el que está haciendo la acción. ¿sí? I do my homework. ¿Quién está haciendo la acción? Es el, el subject. ¿Y quién está recibiendo la acción? El object. ¿sí? En este caso, ¿cuál es el object? Homework. Homework. Eso sería el object. ¿sí? Pero en este caso, sí, el object está haciendo la acción, ¿sí? Y el subject está recibiendo la acción, en este está recibiendo la acción, no está haciendo la acción. Entonces, eh, en este caso diría, ah, my homework is done. Yes. Entonces, homework is done. Entonces, el homework está haciendo la acción, en este caso, ¿ya? Y es lo que hace la diferencia de un passive voice y una active voice. ¿Ya? Yes. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo, a ver si lo, si lo podemos, si lo podemos uh, visualizar. Por ejemplo, si tuviera I am doing, en el caso de que fuera um, simple present, uh, present continuous, I am doing my homework. Yeah. I am doing my homework. Pasemos esto a, a passive voice. Este sería el active voice, ¿verdad? Porque el subject está haciendo la acción. Ahora hagámoslo uh, passive, en passive voice. ¿Cómo lo haríamos? Y el, el micrófono está apagado. Jorge, no te escucho. <ríe> I think it... I think, teacher, uh -huh. before I thought. <laughs> okay. ¿Cómo, cómo iría? I don't know. Uh, maybe my homework. Yes, my homework. <laughs> yes. Um, it's finished. No. It's being. Being. Done. Yeah. Como es, uh, uh, es un sim, uh, present continuous, entonces lo ponemos de my homework is being done. Yes. My homework is being done. ¿Qué si lo hacemos en, en past simple? I did my homework. Ok. Ahora Esmeralda, páseme esto a passive Simple pass. El presente, mire cómo se dice. My homework is done. ¿sí? Lo hacemos en simple present, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿cómo lo haríamos en pass simple? Solo le cambiamos el verbo al pasado. El verbo to be en pasado. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be en pasado? Done? No, el verbo to be. Ah, no recuerdo. No recuerdo, ok. El verbo to be es el am, are, el ah. es. Was, yes. Entonces, bueno, ah. well, entonces, my homework was done. Sí, solo eso tengo que, tengo que cambiar. Done. Yeah. My homework was done. Yeah. 
Y ya lo estamos haciendo en passive voice. ¿sí? Ya no estoy diciendo, I did my homework. Es el active voice. My homework was done. ¿Ya? ¿Sí? Eso es como lo cambiamos del, del active para el passive. ¿Ya? ¿Sí? Podemos hacerlo también en past continuous. Si lo queremos hacer. Porque viene el, el, el verb tense. It doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't make any difference what verb tense you're using. To, to change uh, from active voice to a passive voice. Let's try to see if we can do it a uh, 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 past continue. In the case of past continue, I was doing my, my homework. Yes, I was doing my homework. Ahora, cambiémoslo esto a passive voice. ¿Cómo lo haríamos? I'm doing my homework. No, because this is a passive continuous. I was doing my homework. Ahora lo queremos hacer a passive. En passive voice. Entonces empezaríamos con qué? My homework. My homework. My homework. Yes, my homework. Yes, my homework. Homework. Yes. Y ahora lo vamos a pasar, lo vamos a hacer en paz continuo. Is do it? No. No. My homework was. was yes. Was yes. Done. Being. Being. Was being, being done. Done, yes. My homework was being done. Being done, yes. Being done. Entonces, vamos a, a hacer, a repasar otra vez. Entonces, el subject, subject, plus, ¿qué dijimos? Plus verb, plus object, is used to make the sentence in active voice, ¿sí? Es usado para hacer las oraciones en active voice, donde el subject is the one uh, uh, performing the action, yes, Do, or doing the action, or the subject is the doer, yes, the, the subject is the doer, doer, se escribe así, doer, yes, doer, él es el que está haciendo la acción, es el actor, yes, doer es el actor, entonces el subject, este es el active voice, active voice, yeah. active voice, ahora basado en lo que hemos visto, los ejemplos que hemos visto, ¿cuál es la estructura del passive voice? Sería, hemos visto que es el object más que verb. Sí. ¿El cual verb? Verb. Pass. Verb to be. Verb to be. Yes. Ok. Object plus verb to be plus que. Subject. No, es otro verbo que está allí. Y por eso es que hemos estado ahorita. Bueno, ¿y cómo se hace? El done, ¿qué es done? Es una preposición, es un adverbio, es un pronombre, es un reflexive pronoun, es un verbo, es un past participle, ¿qué es? Preposición. El done es preposición. Ok. Lo voy a decir otra vez. Es, es, un, es un verbo, es un pronombre, es un adverbio, 
es un reflexive pronoun, es un past participle, ¿o qué es? Not done. Done, ¿qué es? Yes. Past participle. Past participle, es un past participle, yes. Past participle. Yeah, past participle. Eso es. Plus, vamos a poner la phrase by y la phrase. Yeah, vamos a hacer eso. Vamos a ver cómo nos sale esta. A ver si podemos hacer una, una oración así. Yeah. Vamos a ver. I wrote. Vamos a ver si nos sale. I wrote that email. Este es un active voice. Active voice. ¿Por qué? Why? Why is an active voice? Esta sentence está un active voice. Why? ¿Por qué? For the structure. Porque el subject está haciendo la acción. Y es, ¿quién está escribiendo? The subject, ¿verdad? I. I wrote that email. Yo hice esa acción. Entonces, es active voice cuando el subject está haciendo la acción. Ahora la vamos a cambiar a passive voice. Y usemos la estructura que acabamos de escribir. ¿Cómo empezamos? No, sir. ¿Hm? The email. ¿Dónde está the email? That email. That email, yes. That, that email, yes. That email. Ahora, si se fijan, este subject, este object, viene a ser el que está haciendo la acción, ¿sí? Entonces, cuando hacemos una active voice, cuando la pasamos a passive voice, el object que está recibiendo la acción pasa a ser el que hace la acción. I wrote that email. ¿Quién hace la acción? I wrote, recibe la acción, that email. En el passive, that email es el que hace la acción. Después del de object, ¿qué tenemos? Verb to be. Verb to be. Entonces, ¿cuál verb to be voy a usar? Was. Was, was porque el verbo está en qué? Past. En past. Wrote está en pasado. ¿Sí? El past simple. So, entonces voy a usar that email was. Was. Ahora, ¿qué dice la, la regla que tenemos que poner? Past participle. Past participle. ¿Cuál es el past participle? The right. Written. Written. Very good. Very good. Written. Written. That email was written. ¿Y ahora qué le tengo que poner? The particle by. By. Yes. By. ¿Y el, la phrase cuál es? Myself. I. Maybe myself. Or by me. By me. By me. By me. Okay. Yes. There we go. Very good. That email was written by me. ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Sí? Podemos, podemos pasarle de un, de un, uh, vamos a hacer otras, otras, otras uh, uh, prácticas, ¿verdad? Pero quiero ver, I want to see if you, if you follow the structure, all you have, the structure is like having buckets, yeah, buckets, ¿verdad? como teniendo unas, unos uh, eh, baldes, yes, where you just put, put something in the buckets and all you have to do is put the information in the buckets, yeah. Pero you have to know the structure de esa sentence. ¿Qué es lo que tiene que tener? Tengo que tener el object, el verb to be, plus past participle, plus by, plus the phrase. ¿Sí? Y en el active voice, ¿qué tengo que tener? El subject, el verb y el object. ¿Sí? Eso es lo que tengo que tener. Entonces, vamos a ver. Deme una, una oración, Jonathan. Just give me a, any sentence that you want to give me and we're going to write the, the sentence as an active voice and then we're going to uh, uh, change it into a passive voice. Deme una, una oración, Jonathan. Cualquier oración. Yeah. Hello. Um, i watching the movie. Maybe. Una acción, yes. 
una, 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 en present simple. Eso sería en, en present progressive, ¿verdad? Vamos a dominar el present simple. I don't know. <laughs> Ok, alguien que le ayude a Jonathan a, 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 con una present simple oración. Jonathan. Hello. Hello. Yes. Ok. Um, I will try. Um, Mr. Machuca yes, thank records. You. <laughs> Mr. Machuca records the video. Ok. Records. The video. The video. Yes. Mr. Machuca. Mr. Machuca. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Mr. Machuca records, records the video. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now let's 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 do it. Let's uh, change this one from active voice to a passive voice. ¿Qué va primero? What is the object aquí? The video. The video. Yes. The video. Yes, very good. Y ahora que viene? Verb to be. The verb to be. Ahora está en, en, uh, en present or past? Past. Está en past ahí? It's in present. Ok. Entonces lo ponemos recorder, ¿verdad? Recorder. Porque lo ponemos a past. Yes, recorder. Yes. But we need the verb to be, teacher. Uh huh. Is. Entonces, is. the video is. Okay. There we go. Is. is. Uh huh. Is. Is recorder. Después del verb to be, que necesitamos? Past participle. Recorder. Yes. Okay. Y By ahora? Mr. Machuca. By. Yes. There we go. Mr. Machuca. Yes. Very good. Good. Good job. Good job. Oh, my goodness. We got it. Let's try another, uh, another sentence. Jorge. 50-50, uh, I understand. <laughs> Pongamos otra oración para que sigamos practicando. Let's practice a little bit more. Una oración en present, simple present. The raining is cold. The rain the rain is cold. Eh, ¿Dónde está el object? ¿Quién está recibiendo el object? ¿Cuál es la acción que está pasando ahí? Este es un state, es uh, un, un, no es un, un action verb. Cooler. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. No, I am. Uh, okay. Okay, vamos a ver. I. I hit the car. Yeah. Algo simple. 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 Simple press. Yes. ¿Cuál es la, la, la action ahí? To hit. ¿Cuál es el object? The car. The car. car. Ok. Ahora hagamos la esta en the passive, passive uh, voice. The car. Very good. The car. Yes. Uh huh. Was hit. Was hit. Was. Uh huh. Hit. Hit. hit uh huh. By me. By me. By me. Yes. The car was hit by me. Yeah. Existe el hidden? Mm. <laughs> Jorge, existe el hidden? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, the car was hit by me. Yes. Entonces, si ve, necesitamos un, un, uh, un action verb y necesitamos un object. Yes. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer más uh, otro ejemplo. Y vamos a preguntarle a Gómez, denos una oración, Gómez, una simple present, oración de simple present. Teacher, sí. hasta ahorita lo voy alcanzando, como me acabo de unir. Ok, ok, no hay problema, tranquilo, vamos a ver quién más nos puede ayudar. Uh -huh. Esmeralda, ¿nos puede ayudar con una oración? Una oración uh, sencilla. Intentaré. Very good. It's, that's the, the attitude. Yes, I'll try it. Mm. Um, my dog. My dog. Eat. Eat. Chicken. Eat chicken. Very good. Chicken. Very good. Okay. My dog eat chicken. Yes. Yes, my dog eat chicken. Okay. Cambiemos la a passive voice. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Eat. 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 ¿Y cuál es el object? El chicken. 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 No chicken. <laughs> chicken. chicken. Chicken, very good, yes. Ok, ahora cambiémosla usando la, la estructura. Chicken. The chicken. Yes. The chicken. Uh -huh. Is. Is. Oh, was. Was, yes. Was. Eaten. Eaten. Eaten, yes, eaten. By my dog. By my dog. Yes, yes, my, the chicken was eaten by my dog. The chicken was eaten by my dog. Yes. ¿Cómo estamos, Jorge? ¿Estamos bien o no? Todavía no. Ah, ya, ya más o menos, un 60%. Pero sí, es como que transformar la palabra, darle la vuelta. Ok. Más, Ok, vamos a ver. I drove, I drove, uh, I drove the car. Yes. Ok. Vamos a ver, Jorge. Try that one. I drove the car. The car. Very good. The car. What? Was. Drive by me. No, was. Drive by me. Ok. Everybody agrees with this? Todos están de acuerdo con esta oración? Past participle. Past participle. ¿En, en, qué, en qué verbo? Drive. 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 Entonces, ¿cómo se dice el past participle? Past participle of a drive. Driven. 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 Yes. The car was uh, driven by me. There we go. Más o menos. Entonces, Jorge, entonces, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que practicar? Los, los past participles. Yes. Y eso no hay ni una forma como aprendérselo más que practicándolos y practicándolos y practicándolos, uh, escribiéndolos, escribiendo. Yes. No hay una pastilla que te pudiera dar. Toma, tómatela. Ya. Todos los past participles aquí están. <ríe> no se puede. It can be done. Yes. Ok. Entonces, eh, eh, Um, ese es el, el passive voice y el, el active voice ¿cuál es la diferencia? que en el passive voice the object is doing the action en el active voice the subject is doing the action and the object is receiving the action ok vice versa object does the action subject receives the action ese sería el el, um, el passive voice. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo hacer eso? Si no, queda, que si no está claro, por favor, díganme para eh, seguir haciendo más eh, o, o dar otra explicación para que quede esto bien claro, porque es importante. Si no lo entendió, dígame, no lo entendí, no, no sé de dónde sale esto, no, no sé 
eh, estas partes que es ¿Por qué le ponemos was aquí? ¿Por qué le ponemos el car? Si aquí dijo que estaba el car después, el car está aquí, ¿por qué lo pasó para acá? Si no entiende eso, ¿y por qué le puse driven aquí? Si aquí dice drove, sí. Entonces, todas esas partes es importante que usted las entienda bien, o sea, que, se, que queden bien claras, como el agua cristal, ya, yeah. no como el agua lluvia. <risa> Hay horchata. Es yes, like horchata. Ok, si no, nadie tiene preguntas, entonces vamos a, a continuar. Um, uh, yesterday we were reading, uh, let's see. También les quería comentar de, acerca de la platform. En la platform uh, hay unos que no han comenzado y hoy es el último día que teníamos para presentar el, la unidad 1. Unit 1. Sí, y tenemos, uh, let me show you. Just give me a second. Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo por, yo siempre las comienzo los fines de semana y si no podría, la, siempre la primera semana si no la, no la comienzo. Ajá. Lo que hago es hacerla el fin de semana y ya avanzar las otras semanas porque es bien complicado por el tiempo. Sí, Ajá. sí. Uh... Eh, deje ver ve aquí tenemos las les voy a enseñar quiénes quiénes faltan para trabajarla porque casi solo tengo como cuatro personas only got, uh, around uh, four people that uh, have worked on the platform let me show you entonces I need you guys to work on the platform uh, to finish uh, chapter one unit one see Homework one, este es el que tenemos que dejar hoy terminado. Ya, yeah. eh, si no tenemos a nadie, lo ha hecho. Bueno, Edgar Edemir lo ha comenzado en 76, es el único de ahí. Tengo Imer Alberto, tiene 60%. Luego tengo Jorge Alberto Rellana, 100%. Congratulations. Y tengo también Mario Eduardo Martínez, 100%. Eh, y Sandra Janet Benítez tiene un 20%, pero necesitamos arriba del 80%. Luego, eh, las otras personas que están, solamente tengo Wilfredo Antonio Luna, que ya terminó el Homework 1 y empezó el Homework 2. De ahí los demás no eh, lo han comenzado. Eso eh, necesito que si por favor me pueden ayudar con eso, me pueden colaborar de trabajar en, en la plataforma, porque eso es importante. 80% tiene que estar la plataforma terminada para Insaforp. Yo les pido el 100%. Sí, dígame. Giovanni, ok. Ok. Sí, tienen, tienen para, pero no, que no se vaya a pasar este fin de semana. Ya el lunes comenzamos la unidad 2. Entonces ya esto ya tiene que ser terminado eh, en, la, en esta week one para que salgamos a tiempo. Ok, eso, colabóreme con eso. Eh, estuvimos, uh, let's see. Ok. Un second. Book. Second. We're going to do the readings and uh, uh, we're going to work on the uh, exercises as well. Just give me a second so I can open this one. Okay. One second. Okay. 
Okay, one second. Okay, let's see. Let me call the One second, please. That's a nice song. Nos está poniendo serenata, Jorge. Sí, ese es Friday, por eso es que he's singing. Oh, right? Sorry, <laughs> no había fijado. Esa right. serenata sounds good, sounds great, Jorge. You're a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Teacher. Yes, sir. Escuchan. Yes, I can I can hear you. Loud and clear. Oh. Okay. Ya si te escuchamos. Voy a, I'm going to call roll. Voy a pasar lista. Eh, Carlos Antonio Rosales. César Manfredi, Servillo. I'm here, teacher. I'm driving. I, thank you. Give thank me you. Uh, 10 minutes. Okay. Almost. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dennis Vladimir. Dennis. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Edemir Pineda. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Elin Moreira. Emerson. Presente. Thank you. <laughs> Eric Armando Flores. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Noemí López. Present, teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Email. Present. Thank you. Email. Alberto Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Salvador Zavala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Orellana Martínez. I am here, teacher. I'm singing. Thank you. Thank you, Julia Margarita Chicas. No. Hey. Maria Jesus Martinez. Okay. Hey, Mario Osvaldo Martinez. No. Hey, Melissa Esteo Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Yanet Benitez de Berrios. Okay, Senia uh, Judith and Wilfredo Antonio Luna Sosa. Here, teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay, just a second. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's let's go to the book. We have a page. Let's see. Second. One second. One second, please.
Okay, we're almost there. Just a second. Okay. Okay, one second. Okay, um, just let me share the book with you guys. Uh, let's see, and let me know if you can see it. Can you see it? Oh, those are nice dogs, Jorge. Okay, yesterday we were talking about uh, reputation and how business uh, uh, build the reputation and what is the reputation of the workplace uh, uh, you work for. And we were talking about the yesterday, uh, yesterday about this and we were doing the reading. Uh, Remember Jessica, Daniel and Jessica, um, both of them were talking and um, they were talking about uh, how the companies uh, build up the reputation based on the customer services or products that they sell. Uh, and uh, we read about the uh, uh, known for, how do we uh, verify how the company is known for, if the company is known for their services, known for their products, known for the uh, for the advertisement, whatever the company does to build a reputation. A reputation is something that you gain, uh, you build up your reputation. Like if you are a good person or you are a, a, a person that work hard, you build your reputation when you uh, work on or whatever you, the activities that you do at work, that uh, helps you to build a good, or a bad reputation. So if you're responsible, you're gonna build a good reputation, a positive reputation. But if you are irresponsible, you're gonna build a negative reputation. So this is what we did yesterday. Uh, and the questions that we were uh, we were supposed to answer were the people known, know now, know Rex produces clothes with uh, modern designs for kids. And that is stated over here. So he says, uh, Jessica, what does your company do? At Arex, we produce clothes for kids. See a kid over here? So what would be the answer to the, the first question? People know Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. So that would be true or false? True. True, true. Right? true. The second one says, uh, People know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. Okay, as Jessica says, Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. So people know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. Yeah, it's true or false? False. Yeah, so False. False, because it doesn't say anything about kids, right? Now, number three says uh, people see Rex as a prestigious company. Says, uh, great, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. So it is true or false? It's true. It's true. Number four says uh, people rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. It says over here, congratulations, Jessica, you're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. So it's true or it's false? For sure. False. False. Why false. 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 Why it is false? Because it's 
not 20. Yes, it's one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. And this one says one of the 20 most prestigious. So it is false. Yeah. Did you see that, uh, Jonathan? Or you fall for it? Okay. Now let's see. Jonathan, can you read uh, this uh, first sentence for us, please? All the 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 phrases or no? Uh, the whole thing. The the first sentence. Uh, contrast the sentences in bold from the dialogue. Dialogue. I dialogue. Can... Dialogue. Dialogue. Thank you. In X2 and the sentence in X3. Yeah, exercise two and the sentences in exercise three. So contrast, what is a contrast? It's, say, it's telling something different from the other part of the sentence, right? So in this case, exercise two and exercise three, we're gonna contrast the sentences in bold. So the sentences in bold, are this let me show you the sentences involved okay one second okay one second so these are the sentences involved are is recognized as and rated as and known for is known for. Those are the sentences in bold. So we're gonna, we are going to contrast these sentences with exercise three, okay? So that's what we're doing. Now, are you following me? Okay, now let's see. Um, Esmeralda, can you read the sentence number one, please? Which sentences? Which, which sentences um, emphasize, emphasize. emphasize the door of the action no recognize, um, what do you say? Recognize. Recognize and rate. Okay, is it which sentences emphasize the doors? Doors is El hechor, yes, el hechor. Ese es el doers, es el hechor, el que hace, yeah? So which sentences emphasize the doer of the actions? No. Entonces, ¿cuál oraciones enfatiza la acción? The doers of the actions, no, el, el que hace la acción. Recognize and rate. Si dice... Known, recognize, and rate. Está en exercise two o exercise three. Vamos a ver. Sí. So exercise three dice, people know. Rex produces clothes with modern design for kids. Number two is a people know. Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. People see, Rex is a prestigious, people see, people rate, see? Entonces, the doer, people is the doer, and see, no, is the action. So, y aquí dice, dice, which sentences emphasize the doers of the actions? No, recognize, and rate. ¿Quién lo hace? Exercise two or exercise three? Este es el exercise three y este es el exercise two. Miran aquí alguno que dice people know Rex, people know Rex o people see Rex o people rate Rex en el exercise one, two. I think it is exercise two. Donde mira usted que dice people Rex, people rated. No, exercise three. 
The exercise three. Yes, exercise three. And then two dice, Rex is rated. See? No dice, Rex is rate. People rate. Eso es lo que está diciendo aquí. Y dice. So it says over here, which sentences emphasize the doers of the actions know, recognize, and rate? Está en el ejercicio tres. Ahora vea lo, la diferencia aquí. Which sentences emphasize the actions to be known for, to be recognized as, and to be treated as? See, sí, which sentences emphasize that? Vamos a ver. To be known for, to be treated as. Vamos a ver cuáles son. Si esta, aquí no tiene nada de eso. To be known for, to be treated as. So, vamos a ver aquí. Aquí está, to be known for. Yes, entonces, exercise. Exercise two es el que tiene esa. De acuerdo, de acuerdo a esto, sería exercise two. Sería esta, right here. Okay. This one right here. Now let's see, use the passive voice. Ya sabemos cuál es el passive voice, ¿verdad? Use the passive voice, they say, to emphasize that the action are more important than the doer's action. The doer sería el subject. Yeah. Entonces, ¿cuándo es que vamos a usar el passive voice? Anybody? Cualquiera? ¿Cuándo vamos a usar el passive voice? Emphasize the action. Hmm? No. ¿Cuándo es que dice que vamos a usar el passive voice? Dice, use the passive voice to emphasize that the action are more important than the doers. Entonces, para emphasize Emphasize lo que dijo su compañero, the action. To emphasize the action. Entonces vamos a usar el passive voice. Si queremos enfatizar el doer, entonces usamos el active voice. ¿Ya? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Entonces aquí vea, the action es lo que estamos haciendo. Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. So, the action is being recognized, ¿sí? Okay, Rex is rated as one of the most prestigious company. Rated is an action que nosotros estamos enfatizando. En otras palabras, es el object. Yeah? Lo que hemos aprendido es el object que se está enfatizando más que el subject. To say a sentence in the passive voice, ¿qué es lo que usamos? Use the verb. ¿Cuál verbo usamos? To be. And to, to be, be followed, followed as seguido by the right. present participle or past participle. Past participle. Y las acciones que estábamos haciendo, porque eran. Tenía el past participle, present participle. Tenía el object, verb to be, el present participle. Plus vibe, plus phrase. Esa es, es la estructura que teníamos, ¿se acuerdan? Of the main verb. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer una práctica aquí. Eh, Gómez, hágame la primera Edgar, la número dos Edwin, la número tres eh, Wilfredo, la número cuatro eh, César Menfredi, la número cinco y let's see Eric Linares, la número seis Hello? Okay. 
Okay. Teacher, I, I, excuse me. Sorry, I driving. Get... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, mm -hmm. forget it, Wilfredo. Entonces que lo haga Esmeralda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Esmeralda. I'm sorry. <laughs> go, go. You can do it. Yes. Okay. Entonces, Gómez comienza, ¿verdad? Teacher. Yeah. No la entendí muy bien, porque aquí veo que la primera ya, ya tiene como el pasado. Sí, ajá. Solo tienen que leerla. Ah, ok. Our, our company is considered. 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 No, considered. Considered. Ahí, ajá. The best manufacturer. Manufacturer. Man, manufacturer. Manufacturer of brooms in the country. Okay. Brooms? ¿Saben qué es, qué es brooms? ¿Qué son brooms? No, no. Escobas. No. Escobas. Uh -huh. okay, lo voy a Entonces, our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Okay, next please. Um, our products is rated as of the most popular in the United States. Yes, of the most popular in the United States. Yes, very good. No. Next please. Our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Yes, in the our, sector. Our customer service agents are perceived perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Very good, excellent. Next, please. The brand is seen as the leader in the energy drink market. Very good, the brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market. Very good, next. ¿Eso me tocó a mí? Sí, sí. Okay, the company, um, no, well, no, with? No, tiene que ser el past participle. ¿Cómo es? El verbo no en past participle. Es non. Non, okay. The company is known as major producer of shoes in the reg region. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is, yes. The, the company is known as a major producer of shoes in the region. In the region. Yes, the region. Okay, very good, excellent, good job. Number six. Aquí hay number six. No, okay, Jorge, can you do number six? Tienes apagado el micrófono, micrófono. Sorry, teacher. Or or veget vegetables is rated as the less contaminated of the national market. Yes, our vegetables Veget are rated as the least 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 at the least contaminated of the national market. Sí, esa es mentira, ¿verdad? Que es el que está menos contaminado, dice, nuestros vegetales. Okay. Our vegetables are rated as the least contaminated of the national market. Very good. Excelente. Good job. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo hacer estos? Estamos, estamos bien. Estamos a... Uh, Eh, cambiando al passive voice. Very good. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es, uh, we're going to take a break. 
And after, after we come back from break, we're going to work on uh, exercise number six, okay? Uh, let's go ahead, take your break, and we're coming back at 9.20, all right? Okay, drink your coffee. Enjoy your coffee.
Hello. Hi, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Is that your daughter? Yes, my little one. Oh, okay. How old is she? Hi, Hi. baby. How old are you? She's nine. Oh, she's nine. Okay. What is your name? Laura. Laura, my goodness. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> Very good. She speak English, huh? And yes. how old are you, Laura? ¿Cuántos años tenés? Te acaba de decir. Nine. <laughs> Nine years old. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, hi, Edgar. Welcome back. Hi, teacher. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, the exercise is that uh, we are going to be writing five lines, a paragraph of five lines about the reputation of your company. Vamos a usar el passive voice. So, for example, we can say, our, my company is well known because uh, uh, the best they produce the best products in the region. See, my company is well known. So uh, mi compañía es bien conocida. This is a passive voice. Yeah. Vamos a escribir. Uh, escribamos uh, cinco oraciones de acerca de la reputación de la, de la company, de su compañía donde usted trabaja. Sí. Cómo es que la compañía donde usted trabaja es conocida. Por qué la conocen. Y lo vamos a escribir con un passive voice. ¿Ok? Vamos a agarrar un minuto por cada oración. Entonces vamos a agarrar five minutes. Are you done, Jorge? Yes. 
¿Ya terminó? No, I not, I, I do sentence. <laughs> okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, what mean, uh, what means uh, about the, the reputation of your company? I don't understand. Okay, reputation of your company. How is your company not well known? Yeah, it's conocida. Reputation is uh, si es conocida porque da un good service, eh, eh, vende buenos productos. Esa es la reputation de la compañía. Yes, entonces va a escribir unas oraciones uh, hablando de la reputation de la compañía usando el passive voice. Oh, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Esas son, son cinco oraciones que vamos a escribir. Y uh, the, eh, escribimos uh, el, el ejercicio que hicimos anteriormente de las seis oraciones es el passive voice. Sí, por ejemplo, our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Esa es una reputación de esa compañía que es conocida como la mejor productora de escobas en el país. Mm -hmm. Otra, otro ejemplo que se, estaba aquí es Our products is rated as five of the most popular in the U United States. Eso es una reputación que tiene, que el producto es el, uno de los cinco mejores productos. ¿sí? Y así es como usted va a... Solo tiene que copiar estas oraciones, pero hacerlas a, a, de acuerdo a su compañía. Ok. 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 Very good. Thank you. You're welcome, sir.
I have only three teachers. Okay, three. Okay. Eh, se, eh, pues yo lo que le dije a Manfredi, que aquí están los, eh, en este, están los, eh, unos ejemplos, examples, where we can uh, use them. We can use them, but uh, we have to adjust them to our company. Tenemos que ajustarlas a nuestra compañía. Pero aquí están, son seis que hay aquí. Puede usar uh, estas para, para describir cómo es que su compañía es conocida. Es known. Wilfredo, are you ready for the presentation? And Jorge Orellana, I think, Jorge Orellana. Those are the only two presentations that I have, that I have received. Son las únicas dos presentaciones que he recibido. Entonces, uh, after we finish with this uh, exercise, we're going to do the presentations. Okay, teacher, uh, I will try. Okay, <laughs> that's the that's the attitude. I will try. That's the uh, most important thing. Um, in my case, uh, right now I'm not at home. Uh, oh, okay. And I'm using I'm using the mobile, and oh. for me it's difficult because it's the first time. <laughs> I know. Okay, so you can do it on on Monday if you want to. Don't worry. I want to try the best I can, teacher. Okay, if you want to, yes. If if you if you don't, if you feel that uh, it will be better on Monday, we can do it on Monday. Don't worry. I will try to share no problem. Okay. For me, it's it's, it's a um, uh, how do you say the Safio? Yeah, it's a challenge. Oh, oh, it's a challenge for me. Challenge. I will try. Don't okay. worry. All right. 
Give me one second. Are we almost done? Yes. Okay. Well, teacher, I I finished my sentence. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, can we hear them? Yes. I hope it's well. <laughs> okay. Uh, my company is known for carrying uh, our housing project. Okay. Is one of the main financiers of housing project in the Salvador. Okay. Is recognizing for making the best and much modern house design. Very good. The name of the company is Global Developers. Is among the best option in house. Whoa, that's a good commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Our brand is recognized in Central America and Mexico. In Mexico. Mexico. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job, good job. Very good. Next, please. Who wants to be next? Don't be afraid. You can do it. You can do it. Esmeralda dice. <laughs> Esmeralda no me quiere ver porque cuando me mira yo le digo, oh, Esmeralda usted. Y solo le así. <laughs> no quiere ver. <laughs> Ok, lo intentaré, no sé si está bien. Ok, very good, good job. Um, um, our students learn values for life. Ok. Uh, the school was a little in education in Sonsonate City. Ok. Um, uh, um, ¿Qué más? Ah, oh, the school has a 50 years educating generation. Okay. I don't know. All right. No more. No more. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay, very good. Edgar? Okay. And the Aroman is already considered the largest repair station on the continent. Okay. And our company are rated as uh, of the most popular in the world. Okay, rated, rated. Rated, mm -hmm. rated as of the most popular in the world. Okay. The company is known a major service of repair in the continent. Very good. 
and the company is seen as the leader in the repair of airplane. Very good, very good. Excellent, good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay, Gomez. Okay, teacher. Uh, our company is considered the manufacturing of metallic cortine. Okay, very good. Uh, our product rated as one of the most popular in the El Salvador. Okay, very good. Uh, our customer services agent persevered as the most efficient in the market. Okay, the most efficient in the market. market. Uh, only three teachers. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Very good. Good job. Okay. Good job. You have done a wonderful job, uh, Gomez. Thank you. Thank for your participation. Okay. All right. So let's uh, see. Just give me a second. So I'm going to have, uh, a, let's see. And I will, Fredo. And let's see. Give me a second. Eh, Jorge, ¿me enviaste una, una, una fotografía o me enviaste el, el, una fotografía? ¿Me enviaste, verdad? Yes, una image. <laughs> una image. La image no se puede okay uh let's see i'm going to just give me a second an image yes it was going to be a, a powerpoint presentation and the image will be was going to be included in the PowerPoint presentation. One second. Okay, almost done. Just a second. One second, I'm trying to open the uh, PowerPoint presentation that just sent me. Okay, one second. Not done yet. Okay, it's not done yet. So we're gonna wait till the the uh, download is done. So while we're downloading the uh, PowerPoint presentation, we are going to continue with this one. So uh, let's see. Oh, let's read the. Um, we have a puzzle that we need to uh, answer. 
and uh, we have a very cold answers and uh, horizontal answers. And the puzzle is about values. Remember the values? We have values and over here it says, number one, it says, being faithful to your friends, family, principles, etc. So what would be the answer to uh, number one? Being faithful to your friends, family, and principles. What do you think is the word number one? Teacher, que es faithful. Faithful es una persona de eh, verdadero, honesto. This is a being faithful, verdadero o honesto. Faithful, verdadero o honesto. So when you're faithful is when uh, cuando usted es verdadero o alguien que pueda o que pueden confiar en ustedes and faithful faithful person being being faithful to your friends honesto con tus amigos la familia principal etc uh, principles I think is honesty honesty Honestly. Honestly. Oh, maybe loyalty. Loyalty? Loyal? Yeah, the one. Okay. So we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, seven uh, spaces. Loyalty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. Now let's see number four. Number four across, it says uh, being good, being good at leading a group, organizing, organization, ex country, etc. Being good at leading a group, organizing, organization, country, etc. So, what would be number four? Let's see if we, this one matches with the loyalty. Maybe leadership. Hmm? Maybe leadership. 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 Yes. Okay, leadership. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so leadership, it would be the one. So the I, number five, let's see what's number five. Five down is... Uh, the introduction of new ideas, methods, Innovation. inventions, huh? Innovation. Innovation. Okay. Innovation. So how many words? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Innovation. See? Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So innovation is not, uh, it doesn't fit innovation there.
what would be what would be the answer for him? What would be the answer? The teacher, the five is innovation. Hmm? Five is innovation, but no, no. Uh, not the same space. Yes, uh huh. There's one space missing. So we have one innovation word. The innovation word has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces. Six is responsibility. Responsibility. Six, the sixth one. Number six is responsibility. Is everybody trying or we're not trying? Gomez, Edgar, Esmeralda. I know it's Friday, but we almost done. We have five more minutes. Please help me to figure out this one. This, uh, uh, this puzzle. The seven is integrity. In introverter seven okay seven. Is in Gomez do an, at least one Gomez at least one Edgar, at least one. Teacher, please roll up. Fue un poquito más la imagen que no logro ver las demás. Oh, okay. ¿Qué vamos a ver? Ahí está bien. Sí. Almost done. Okay, so number one we said was uh, loyalty, right? Number four we said was uh, uh, leadership. Is that correct? Yes. 
please answer me. <laughs> number five, uh, innova innovation. Yes, number five, innovation. That was uh, Carlos says, innovation. Very good. So we have loyalty, leadership, innovation. And what about number six? So what would be number six? Innovation. Oh, let's look number three. What number three says? Efficiency. Efficiency, yes. Efficiency would be number three. Efficiency. Efficiency, three. Efficiency, yes. So now we have the I and the O for number six. Oh, what about number seven? The sixth one is responsibility. Respon res huh? Responsibility. Number six, responsibility, yes. Responsibility, number six. And what about number seven? Number, number seven, huh? Integrity. Integrity, yes, integrity. What about number two? Now we have for number two, we have the T at the end. Number two, respect. Respect, yes, respect. So we have respect, we have uh, integrity, we have... Uh, uh, number three, we say was uh, if efficiency, right? Number six. Yeah, that one. Yes, number six, responsibility. Uh, what about number uh, eight? We have the eight uh, as in empathy. Number, empathy. 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 Yes. What about empathy. number nine? Punctuality. 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 And number 10? What would be number 10? Honesty. 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 Yes. Honesty. So that's what we have. Uh, honesty. And we have the uh, the puzzle is done. So we did it. Very good, excellent. I know sometimes it's hard to to you know to work on assignments, but uh, um, it's uh, a vocabulary that we went through, and uh, we know it. We just need to uh, think a little bit, just a little bit, so we can uh, make sure that we recognize those uh, those words in the vocabulary. Okay, so I'm gonna call roll and we're gonna call the night. Okay, one second so I can, I'm gonna let you guys go. I know you guys want to go home. <laughs> you want to Teacher, go? Sorry, yeah. I I have my presentation. Uh, I, can, I can tell you on Monday. Yes, 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 we're gonna do it on Monday and- um, Okay. Okay, don't worry, just, uh, yes, uh, uh, you have two more days to practice it, so better for you, right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Just give me a second so I can, uh, let's see. And uh, please, let's work on the platform. Para trabajemos en la plataforma porque es bien importante terminar el 80%. So we have the, uh, the weekend. So finish uh, uh, unit one, okay? Uh, Carlos Antonio Rosales. No. Cesar Manfredi. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dennis Vladimir. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edgar 
Edemir Pineda. Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Eli Moreira Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Armando Flores Linares. Present. Okay, Eric, hoy te toca quedarte 10 minutos. Esmeralda Noemí López Present. Jiménez. Pero. Esmeralda, oh, ahí está Esmeralda, ¿qué pasó que se había hecho? Estaba echándome una siesta, no mentira. Very Estaba good. escuchándolos trabajar. You deserve it, yes. Um, Giovanni Alexander Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Imer Alberto Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Salvador Zavala Zúñiga. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan Jorge Alberto Riana. No. I am here, teacher. I'm tired. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank you, sir. Julia Margarita, no. Uh, María Jesús Martínez López. No. Mario Osvaldo Martínez Mejía. Present. Thank you, sir. Y Melissa Esteban Riana Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so I see you, all of you. I see you Monday. Have a good weekend. Wilfredo, thank you for the uh, presentation. Have a good weekend. And uh, relax and uh, work on the platform. The one who hasn't worked yet, please work on the platform, okay? I see you Monday. Have a good night. Yeah. Be yeah. Monday. All right. Bye bye. Good night. Good Monday. Bye bye. Good bye. weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Eric Linares, how are you, sir? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you today, sir? ¿Cómo estás? Fine. And you? Fine. I'm, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. How was work? Um, good. It was good? Yeah. What did yeah. you do? What did you do at work? Um, I am... Um, I, I work in... A Exportation. Oh, exportation? Imports yeah. and exports. Yeah, in export. Oh, okay. And what's the name of the company? Um Fruit of the Loom. Oh, Fruit of the Loom. Oh. Yeah. So the underwears. Underwears. Yes. Oh, t-shirts, underwears. Yeah. It's uh Two products. It's a uh, boxers and uh, t-shirts. Oh, okay. Boxes and, and t-shirts. Okay, very good. And how long have you been working for Fruit of the Loom? Um, three years ago. Oh, for three years already. My goodness. Yeah. And what do you do? Are you a, a machine operator? Are you a programmer? Uh, what do you do over there? A digitator. Oh, okay. 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 So you entry left a uh, uh, data and uh, data entry. Yes, it's a uh, the I write in the Excel. It's a uh, in the system. I scan the products in the in the container. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. And uh. Are, do you write in English or Spanish? Uh, the format in the it's a format packing list. The the, the name. Oh. Okay. In, in the name is a the system generally it's a in English. In English, my goodness. Yes. And because the the boss is a is the is is a gringo. <laughs> Is in the United States. Yes. Oh, the boss. He lives over there or he lives over here? Um, it's for her. It's uh, the um, I say, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the, your boss, your boss. Yeah. He lives over there or he lives over here? Um, it's a hierarchy. Okay. Um, 
my my boss is, is live in the Estados Unidos. Okay, I see. And what is his name? Um, really, I I, no, I no. don't know. <laughs> you never <laughs> ask, huh? <laughs> no. It's a it's a more. Realmente son generales. Usted lo dice en español. Son gerentes de gerentes de gerentes. Entonces, por lo menos conocemos eh, el gerente del gerente, el okay. jefe del gerente de la planta, que es el como uno de los propios encargados de, esa, de esta zona. Mm. El, el, el tap tap, el, el primero, el primero, eh, se llama CEO. CEO, sí, yes. Yeah. Eh, realmente no sé quién es. No, no, no ni, ni lo vas a conocer, ¿ves? No, están, no. están en otro estamos, nivel. Sí, estamos más bajo nosotros. Sí, ajá. El Chief Executive Officer se llama. Chief Executive Officer. Yes. Oh, very good. Eh, eh, y dime, um, Eric, um, how, how do you feel in the class? ¿Cómo te sientes en la clase? Eh, good. It's a... Um... I have um, any problems with the on the the camera. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Um, and uh, every time it's a uh, listening on the all the call all the class. Okay. Yes. Oh, you always listening. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. And are you doing your homework? Um. Empezadas, la hice. <laughs> okay, yeah. And what about the platform? Are you working on the platform? It's, a... it's full, the, the first. Uh, oh, okay. You finished the first week. Uh, okay, yes. the first week is done. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Well, that's, that's the most important part. The homework is important for you to do it because that is the only way you're going to be uh, practicing the vocabulary. You're going to be practicing the uh, sentence structure and you're going to be practicing uh, the speaking. So it's important for you to do the homework. And um, yes. I see that you participate in class. Thank you for your participation. And thank you for speaking in English because that is the most difficult part. Uh, some people, they are afraid to talk in English. And I, I tell them, hey, don't be afraid. You just make mistakes. That's the reason we are here. You know, just make mistakes and, and we learn from those mistakes. So congratulations, Eric. Thank you, teacher. Um, yes, and I, I, say, I am talking about uh, with Maria today. It's a, the same uh, company. Oh, same company, same department? Uh, no, it's a different department. Okay, what Maria says. Yes, uh, this is uh, talking about in the, with the class. Uh, for the, the Julia, it's, a, oh. it's, a, it's the same company. Oh, okay. And it's just, yes, um, she left the, the, the groups. Oh. It's a, in, com, with a problem with the understand the English class. Oh, okay. Um, todo eso. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, that she left the class, though, because, uh, um, you know, English is not hard, uh, but all you have to do is dedicate some time to the English language. And, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you. Uh, uh -huh. Realmente el inglés es bonito, masticarlo, como se dice, sí. mm -hmm. entenderlo, porque, bueno, yo siento que my, my, como mi fuerte quizás es la lectura, el entender la lectura. Mm -hmm. El speaking is a very difficult because of the pronunciation. Uh -huh, pronunciation. And the ability. Yes. It's a disembolving with the, 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 the lengua. Articulation. Articulation, articulation yes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna la, la work, yeah, we're going to work on the articulation. Every time you read, you're working on the articulation. Every time you read, that's the reason why my exercise is that you, you have to read. 
you have to read. There's no other way. So, but uh, at the end, the the only people benefit are you. You guys are the one benefit from the reading. So that's the reason I always uh, thank uh, students for their participation. Because that it was make the big difference when you participate in class. All right. Yes. Okay, Eric. Well, it was nice talking to you, and uh, I'm I'm glad to hear that you like the class and. Uh, we're gonna keep uh, learning in this class, okay? I'm gonna try my best for you guys. Eh, mm -hmm. Solo como quizás hacerle como mención, este, siempre que hayan lecturas, si por ejemplo con otra persona, si puede incluirme, incluyame. Sabe que yo estoy escuchando todo el tiempo. Okay. Eh, el, el hecho que no se encendía la cámara, como le decía, este, mm -hmm. siempre estoy escuchando y estoy okay. pendiente de la clase. Very good. Excellent. Thank eh, you for Sabe que puede contar ahí conmigo. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. Eh, Okay, Eric, thank you, and hope we have a good night and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye.